pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ASL Poetry, Numbers So long. Now my favorite memory while I'm here in middle school, honestly it was our seventh grade area. We didn't only, we didn't finish our full year because of COVID, it kind of created a lot of chaos. So. Sixth grade was better because we had a lot of activities, Catalina Island with my friends and my and my cat my class classmates. It was a lot of fun. It was the first year we did sports with other groups, other eighth grade and sixth grade students. Huge groups playing football and basketball, and I miss that. That was my favorite memory of that year. Seventh grade was it was okay, but with COVID it kind of ruined everything. But you know, there it is. But now I'm an eighth grader. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. So Honestly, best was my sixth grade year. It was the most fun we had with the, all the different activities and the experiences that we had uh, as to what middle school would look like. So that was my favorite year, Catalina Island, and a bunch of different fun things. My favorite memory from middle school was in sixth grade. We had lots of different, different food and drinks and fun, and it was great. What I enjoyed most about between sixth to eighth grade was our Catalina Island trip. So I went with uh, my other peers and we were on a boat going to Catalina Island. It was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. PE, being involved in PE and playing. Catalina Island, that boat trip, oof. I enjoyed just the, the playground. My favorite memory for middle school is Catalina Island. Uh, and we'd been home most of the time, but in sixth grade, that was my favorite memory was Catalina Island trip and SeaWorld and different things that we did that were fun. Sixth grade, definitely. No masks. It was great. Life was good. And also because of football, we won the championship. I was excellent. I enjoyed it. Favorite memory of middle school was in sixth grade was our SeaWorld trip with all of our sixth graders. Taking that trip to SeaWorld uh, was so much fun with all of my friends, and I really, really enjoyed it. Let's see, memory was sixth grade, going on the boat to Catalina Island. Catalina Island was the best trip. That's the best memory I have, that sixth grade boat trip. It was a lot of fun. Went down to the beach, just a ton of different things. So in the evening, we saw uh, different animals. We went snorkeling. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. It's a great memory. So it was a great memory to have. It was a lot of fun. Best memory of middle school? I loved my friends. We had lots of fun. The teachers were great. All of the work was good. I enjoyed it. Great memories. My biggest memory was maybe, you know, counseling with my counselor. It was just a great time. Oh, there you go. I got dark for a second. There we go. That's better. 
So just having great conversations with my counselor, with Steve, and then, um, oh, I don't know, um, I don't know. Well, yeah, just kind of hanging out and talking and seeing how things are going with friends and staff and whatnot. Just a funny guy. My favorite middle school memory is the cottage, the cottage doors. We did the cat in the hat. My favorite memory is going to Catalina Island and SeaWorld. Favorite memory of middle school is probably sixth grade or seventh, eighth grade. I don't know. I don't really have any memories of seventh, eighth grade, but sixth grade. It was a lot of fun. We went to SeaWorld. We went on a boat trip. I really liked sixth grade. Seventh and eighth, yeah, not so much. I don't even have any memories. Hi, my name is Alex. And PE was my favorite. You know, having our staff, having uh, Jimmy, he was very supportive. So that was my favorite thing. My favorite memory for school, you know, like in sixth grade, we had a party. I think that was my favorite thing. And the homework was good, and we had all those parties, and then after, you know, games and whatever, we had a lot of fun. So that was a great memory that I had, and I wish we could get that back. But, of course, we're almost about ready to promote, and I'm excited, but I'm going to miss my friends, and I miss how it used to be in sixth grade for those parties. My favorite memory for middle school was sixth grade. Doing all of these road trips and just seeing lots of really cool things, lots of new experiences. It was a lot of fun. That was my favorite memory. The best memory is in middle school, is leaving middle school. Um, My favorite middle school memory was making hot chocolate. Favorite memory of middle school, sixth grade, SeaWorld, and that trip, oh, lots of fun. But yeah, I, I, I love fish, and it was really cool, so it was really nice to see. My favorite memory was sixth grade, had a great year, and then went on a Catalina trip. Just had a great time talking with friends. It's a great memory. Hi, for me, my seventh grade memory for middle school here behind me was doing the recycling and doing that trip and then coming back and then being here in middle school. My favorite thing about middle school is Catalina Island. My favorite part, oh, big memory I have for middle school. In sixth grade, I joined the football team. It was actually full contact football. And we ended up winning a bunch of games and we were undefeated. We went into the championships and we played against uh, Redlands, a school in Redlands. And oh goodness, it was a tough game. It was neck and neck and we beat them. 32 to 28. 28 for them, 32 for me. It was tough. And we ended up being the championships. We got a championship ring and a trophy. Oh, it was amazing. It was a mind-blowing experience. It's the first time CSDR has won a championship for middle school. Oh, it's a fantastic memory. It's my favorite, favorite memory it was football championships in sixth grade. Favorite part about distance learning? Well, I'm not a fan. I like hanging out with my friends. Distance learning, the cool thing was kind of being at home, kind of doing my thing, hanging out, you know, doing my work things at home, um, different hobbies that I can do, riding my bike. It was a lot of fun doing different activities. At my home, we got a swimming pool, but, but for academics, yeah, not a fan. I'd rather not do a screen. But staying home was cool, but doing the work I can kind of do throughout the day instead of having to do it exactly at class period. You know what I mean? So that was a kind of a huge advantage, but I would rather be in school on campus so I could hang out with my friends. My favorite part of distance learning 
was the softball crunch. One was a, a success and one was a fail. My favorite thing about distance learning is having a break from a lot of socialization and a lot of people around. Distance learning, it's kind of more of a break for me. I can kind of see everybody, but I don't have to really interact. So that's really nice for me. It's kind of like a rest period. Well, games and going out and playing different activities and my family, going over to my family's house. Well, I've had some friends and, and or playing video games. I love to watch videos on my phone. With Zoom, what I've learned is in my bilingual language arts class, I've learned lots of different things with sign language, um, but I've enjoyed it. Virtual learning with Zoom, PE. It just makes me feel good. You know, for exercising, it feels good. My favorite part of distance learning is really focusing with my teachers having one-on-one -on -one support, more one-on-one -on -one support than normal. But when we're at home, I help my grandma, I talk to some of my friends, that's really it. So one year we've been at home, one full year. My favorite thing is mom's cooking and eating all of mom's food. Having my brothers here and playing, it was a lot of fun. doing my academic work and I'm able to focus. My favorite part, oh, this computer, okay, there we go. My favorite part is history and science and math and just a few other things, but that was it. Now I'm done. I was happy but with Zoom, but it just feels like time's gone by so quick. I like staying home. You don't have to get on the bus in the morning. You don't have to get up early. The things I've learned is to be social. You learn more about being social and making new friends and um, different things that you learn from other people and, and different classes. I didn't like that, but my thing is the social thing. It's just much more fun in the classes. Hi, my name is Alex. And with distance learning, I like watching TV and movies after school. That's what I love. What I've learned is everything is new. Some things are really cool being at home. Uh, bilingual language arts, history, science. It's just nice to have different things to do. So that's what I've learned. I've been thinking about this. I don't really have a favorite thing about distance learning. There's nothing really I have to say. It's just not normal for me to stare at a screen all the time. I would much rather be in person. I don't want to do Zoom. It, a lot of things freeze on the on the computer. At school, it's just much easier for me. It's just something I've been thinking about. I don't really have anything favorite. So I'm going to say nothing. Favorite part of distance learning? I can work by myself. My favorite part of distance learning is playing games. Now what I've learned from distance learning, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, with Zoom classes and everything, it's it's been tough, but there it is. Distance learning, it's been good, but I would rather be back to school in person. It's a lot more fun being social, and you can understand the signing better. Distance learning, eh, Zoom freezes a bunch. I mean, it's still good, but... My favorite part with distance learning 
is passing my reading. Favorite thing part about distance learning is homework is easy. Now my favorite part is things that I've learned. I just really enjoyed being in class, especially with history. You know, I, I wonder what it looked like years and years ago. They didn't have anything, a lot of old fashioned things, people just barely getting by. And in history, they really teach you, you know, what it was like back then. And it's something new, really old fashioned ways and a lot of struggle and perseverance these people went through. And they had no technology, zero technology. And they, they were able to get through it. Writing letters and then having those letters be sailed across the sea to another country to have them be delivered. That's, that's a big thing. It's a long thing. It's really old fashioned ways. All the wars that happened, just learning something new, mind blowing. That was the one thing that I really enjoyed the most in history. Definitely. Cool. I think in the future, I'm going to be a PE teacher. Oh, you guys are wrong. What's this problem? The answer is six. Just kidding. It was a trick. My future job is going to be a math teacher. Future employment, I haven't truly decided yet, but I like uh, doing like a like a piercing artist, like nose piercing, ears piercing, you know, the, the, as a career. That's kind of what I like. Still not completely decided yet. The first thing I would say is construction and tech and automotive and culinary arts. I'm gonna work as a mechanic. My future employment is working with animals. I'm an amazing artist and I'm going to be an artist when I grow up. Hi. I want to be a janitor when I grow up. Cleaning the floors, cleaning the windows, the walls, the desks. That'll be good. My future employment, I'd like to be a doctor. And the reason for that is I want to save, save people's lives. I want to help people. Future employment, uh, maybe an automotive mechanic. Hello, my future job is I'm going to be a horse trainer. I'm gonna ride and I'm gonna learn, ride horses in Mexican culture. Also taking care of the horses here, doing a lot of training here on the farm and I really enjoy it. My future employment, I'm going to be a waiter. I want to work here in the cottage and being able to help other students you know, with all of their homework. That'd be a lot of fun. And also play sports and help cook, 
That's it. Future employment, either automotive mechanic or canine officer, a real estate agent, or a hospital doctor, the top doctor. Or a basketball player. Maybe a football player, a famous football player, and a UFC fighter. An actor, a famous actor. Or maybe like inventing some sort of electric technology, increasing technology. And then president. I'm going to make all the money, billions of dollars. That's my goal, is to be the top in my field and be a famous record maker. That's what I want to be. Bye. Oh, hi. I'm going to work in the WWE. I'm going to be a wrestler. My job is going to be an artist. See, in the future, I would like to be like a pro basketball player. Future employment, I'm going to pick Amazon because I like packing stuff. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hi, in the future, I would like to work at a hospital as a doctor. I'd enjoy helping and serving people. Future employment for me after graduation. I would like to uh, to help make pizza, deliver pizza, or maybe move to Oregon. But I'll just have to think a little bit more about that. And then also providing deaf support. You know, maybe like an airline pilot, I can't remember the name of it, but you know, flying a plane, maybe selling clothes, deaf owned clothes, and also drawing clothes or teaching ASL for deaf culture. To all this, the deaf signs and the deaf culture, but definitely support for work. I'd like to get some support for work. So those, those areas, that's what I think I'm gonna do in the future. Future work, I'd like to work as a vet and work at Starbucks. I'm gonna work, well, I'm not sure. Either Chipotle, or maybe a teacher in college or something. I don't know. And uh, maybe helping out in the stores. I don't know. Future job will be a vet because I like to take care of animals. I'd like to have a Tesla and I'd rather work uh, as a teacher, maybe math or so. Hello, my future employment is I'm going to be an automotive mechanic. I'd like to work as a teacher. In the future, I wouldn't mind a job, you know, maybe working as a teacher for like recreation, teaching other kids, giving them some tips and doing crafts and doing that kind of construction type of, of work. You're making sure that everything is connected the right way and building something, making a house, making chairs, being able to teach how to make chairs, just a variety of different stuff. That's what I think I wouldn't mind doing for a construction teacher or a construction worker. Today is a very special day for all of you, for this whole eighth grade class. You are ready to make your transition to high school. Now in middle school, yeah, I'm sure people are thrilled middle school is over, but just wait. This year, you guys have been through so much. You've done distance learning 
and then you transition back to in-person. Some of you were in-person, some remained distance learning. And then created a hybrid approach going back and forth between the two models. Ten years from now, looking back on your middle school career, you've realized that you've gone through such a trying time while our younger generation of kids may not remember it. You guys will definitely remember your middle school years and the things that you've seen. You've seen the world change and what it means for all of us now. Now, moving forward, we're going to be much more geared towards technology, more of a fast-paced lifestyle, but at the same time, also be more mindful of how we're living our lives. Now, you guys are all in the middle of that learning process, and I am so excited for all of you. You have completed your middle school career with, honestly, a lot of great memories. And also things that you've learned from the past and that you can apply to your future. I am very happy that you will continue your education with us through your high school careers. There's almost 30 of you that will be going into high school. It's a new world, new people, new faces, new friends, new teachers, just a variety of different things that you will have to navigate. Your journey will allow you to grow more on a personal level, more on an academic level, more on a competitive level, film, theater, field trips, and activities. The sky's the limit. I'm very proud of all of you for your endurance and your perseverance and being in touch with yourself and moving forward and making progress. Congratulations. You are now the new class of 2025. What a special thing, class of 2025. It's a nice number. Once again, congratulations, and I look forward to welcoming you back in the fall. Take care.
Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I was reading this book. My Life Story. This is a book that has been written on my entire life. Different events that have happened within my life. Is this book complete? Oh, not at all. I've written a few chapters, and now you each have your own book, your own story to tell. Your book was starting to be written when you were born. The first page of your story. Your childhood is also part of your story. Now, with this chapter, you notice these little tabs here? There's a variety of different chapters that are within each and every one of your stories. My chapters, we still have a few more stories to tell, a few more chapters to go. Today, it's actually the best part of my story. So, let's see what happens with my story moving forward. Your chapters for middle school, those chapters have been written. Now you'll be starting a new chapter. For your story, the next chapter is high school. That will be one of the biggest chapters in your life story, in your book. There's so many different experiences to have, different memories of all of your high school time. It could be something very minimal, it could be something very major, and that depends on you. What do you want to do to accomplish that time in high school? Are you going to sit back and not do anything and not participate? Or are you going to take every advantage you can and be involved in different events? And it's such an honor to do that. This is your story. Is it going to be a thin book or is it going to be a thick tome? Now, it's time for me to continue my story. I am ready to continue and keep writing my story. Good luck, high school students. Enjoy it. Take care, and I will see you there. Take care, everyone. Twenty nineteen and twenty twenty school year has been complete. Some of you have stayed home for the full year with distance learning. Now with this year, everyone was Zooming, also teaming, cahooting. Years from now, you will look back and you'll remember your virtual tours, your virtual field trips, your digital assignments, your conversations through Teams, you can say what your eighth grade unique situation was. But now, your eighth grade year is complete and you are moving on. Congratulations and welcome to high school. Hello everyone, my name is Scarlett. Valencia, I'm the high school principal. I wanted just to say a few words for all of you for this special group of middle school students. You eighth graders who are just about to become ninth graders, about to be freshmen in high school, how does that feel? I'm sure there's a combination of anxiety, uncertainty of what to expect, and excitement leaving middle school and going into a new department, a new program with new teachers and new staff members, a new circle of friends that you have in high school available to you. I'm here to let you know, high school is not that bad. It may seem like it's scary and intimidating, but oh goodness, some of your absolute best memories will be made there. Trust me on that. Remember, your life is your story. Each one of you has your own unique story to tell. 
what you've been telling and what you will be telling. Now going into high school, that's a new adventure and that will be part of your life's journey. This new adventure starts a new chapter in your story. That adventure in high school, oh goodness, it's full of so much potential, so much passion, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals. Remember, high school is also a time where all of you can make those mistakes and you can learn from those mistakes, learn new information. You may feel like you know it all, but then when you get to high school, you realize, oh, you really don't. New experiences, new information will teach you so much. This is a perfect time for all of you to really adapt, be open to learning new things, be open to asking questions, open to challenges. Most importantly, be open to absorbing information. The information that you learn will carry you through the rest of your life. Now, when you enter high school, it's not just academics. High school is so much more than just classes. It's such a rich opportunity with a variety of different activities and sports programs, clubs, you name it, we've got it. Take advantage of every opportunity. You will not regret it. You will really embrace all of the memories that are made in high school. We look forward to welcoming you, all of you, with our arms open wide and with true cub spirit. I will see you this fall. Congratulations on your eighth grade graduation. Take care.